Hey, it's Sunday. I want to do a video. I don't know how long this video is going to take because I just started, but I want to cover like three to four different ways to sharpen stump grinding teeth for the new guys. And really it's going to be about touching them up, not a massive, like a, a really destroyed tooth trying to sharpen it. All right. When a tooth goes too bad, all right, like this one here, it's oblonged. This is a green tooth. This is a candidate to be re-tipped, all right? And I'll put a link in the description of, uh, I'll try to find two or three companies. I use Wit & Sons, but other guys use a guy named Jeff Sharp. Jeff's Sharpening, I think it's called. I, I'll look them up and I'll put them in there. And so you can have a reference point to either, you want to send them out to have them sharpened or re-tipped. I like, re when I send them off, I like having them re-tipped. All right, and so this one here, that was a green tooth. This one here is from New Revolution, same style basically as a Sandvik also. This one is, it can be sharpened. It'll take a lot to do it. All right, but this to me is a retip candidate. All right, so retipping saves you a lot of money too. I'm also gonna put in the description, a company that sells teeth that uh, might help you out. You may have a certain kind of tooth you're looking for or whatever. They sell brand new ones. I know if you order from them, you get them. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you get them the next day. And he's very, very reasonable. Super easy to work with. I'll put a link in the description for him too. All right. And then there's green teeth manufacturing for the green teeth. Uh, also, if you want to buy the original ones, not the copies, you can buy from Green Teeth Direct. There's a guy there named Chris Peters. He's fantastic. And uh, he'll set you up. And, and if you have questions about wheels, teeth, or whatever, he's the guy to ask as far as the Green Teeth products. All right, so let me turn, you around, turn this around and give you just an overview of some simple ways you can do this. All right, in one of my old videos, I show you the poor man's way to sharpen. It was you took a green tooth, you put it in a drill, all right? And you put it against, this is a, a bit, just a bench grinder. You buy yourself a green wheel. This is silicon carbide, all right? You see how small this is now compared to this? This is what it starts out for. And you want a quarter inch wheel, all right? And you can. And while the, it's in the drill, it's spinning, and this is spinning, they're, they're kind of working each other, and it'll put a concave in here, and it'll sharpen them. It's very aggressive, okay? But you cannot and should not ever do this without a respirator on, a good mask, in a ventilated area, because it puts out a very dangerous deal. The cyclical carbide and the carbide itself are very dangerous to you. They're carcinogens, okay? All right, so we know that. We can use a green wheel on that. There's another way for green teeth also. You can buy one of these. This is a dime, this is a diamond wheel, diamonds that are impregnated into a resin. You would put it on here, and you'll see, look on YouTube, you see other videos. A drill press, pressing down. The drill press is going, and this is turning with this and it'll give you that concave. Much less mess in the air and all by doing it with the diamond and the drill press. Also, you can actually squirt a little water from time to time onto, the, onto this and it won't degenerate. This green wheel, you cannot get any water on, all right? And another thing on these green wheels, when it's on, you cannot, you cannot go on the side. It's very tempting to do, but these have a, they have a tendency where they could fracture and break. All right, so you don't want that. These are cheap, you can find them. If I find a link for them, I'll give you a link for it too. All right, now, on this type of tooth, or the Vermeer yellow jackets, or even some of the older teeth that look similar to this, 
I like to sharpen them on the machine, and that's like a day, every day, or every other day. I just put a touch up on it, and I use a diamond wheel on an angle grinder, four and a half inch angle grinder, all right? And so, if it's off, like say you got one that's off, this one here is a candidate for retipping, but I just want to show you something. So let me set this up and show you. Hold on. This was done with a, di a four and a half inch hand grinder with a diamond. Let's see, there we go. Now you see, you got to cut them flat first, and then you'll have to rotate it to the side. I use a vise. This is if it gets a little bit bad. Some of these I keep before setting them retipped. In a box in my truck, if I go to a place that's like rock, rocks from hell, I'll stop for a minute. Let me see if I can do this with one hand here. Pop this out without dropping it. Yep. All right, so let's see if we focus, focus. There we go. We got the bottom. But see, now we have to go around this edge and go around. It can be done, but this, this tooth is really a candidate for being retipped. Okay, I'm sorry for it's blurry or shaky. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Anyway, now let's talk about something else. Now remember, you can take these teeth and you can sharpen them here, sharpen them here. It's very rough, but I really don't like recommending the green wheels. You know, but if that's what you got, you got. Just protect yourself. Use a respirator, okay? Fan blowing it away from you. Now, I'm going to show you something else. It's going to be noisy, but you know what? I'm just thinking outside the box. You see what this is? It's a Delta belt sander. All right? My brother found this for me at a garage sale for 25 bucks. Now, what it has on it, I bought a package of these, oh, God, for like, off of Amazon, don't hold me to the price, maybe $12, $14, these are 80 grit. I suggest you try to go a little bit even steeper, like, you know, if you could find 36, 40, 60 would be better. But I have found this other way of doing it. So hold on, I'll show you something. This is a green piece we're gonna be using. the outer edge. There's the sand here. You know what's on the other side of it? A little pan of water. Dipping in water. you guys didn't see 
was on the other side there, there's a little pail of water, okay? It did, it did cut her. It did cut underneath. But it doesn't cut, give me a second. It doesn't cut real aggressively and fast. So this is 80 grit that I'm using. This is 80 grit. But, wait a minute, before you go out and run and go by, this is not regular sandpaper. This is silica carbide paper that actually could be wet. Now look, I would dip it down in here, then this is what I would do. You know, clean it, go around that way, that way, hit it flat here. And this is not very aggressive, all right? Th that is better. Or even this is more aggressive. And this, I just found, if you happen to have this tool in your shop, this here is, I think, a 14 inch. You know, like I say, my brother found it for me for 25 bucks. Here's the paper. I'll put a link in the description. Came, let's see how many, two, four, six, eight, I think, I don't know, 10. Came in a package. This one here is, is really nice and safe to just tune up to you, just tuning them up. As you see how fast it tuned up, no, that's not the right one, huh? Didn't fasten up that one. Here you go. It tuned that edge up. And what this, these belts are made for and how, who turned me on to them was a knife maker. They do stuff wet on steel, all right? So, these, it even says on here, knife makers, abrasive belts, but they're silica carbide. But who really uses these? The glass industry, the guys that do glass and, uh, you know, how home glass, tabletops, all that, they grind wet. See, I don't have anything in the air. It was nice. Look, it didn't make a tremendous mess. There's a little deal here. I, we could clean that up. Not blow it. I just take a shop towel and clean it and throw it away. So, and it didn't go everywhere. It's not everywhere. This wetness is what dripped off of me good doing this. And it keeps the steel cool when I'm doing it. So, just that's, just, that's all this is today. All right? Options for you. All right, the poor man's options, rather than sending them out to a shop. Don't let your teeth go so far to where, you know, they're shot, you know, um, to where you can't bring it back. And if you do, send them out to retip. They'll put the links for retipping, or I'll even put the link in where you can get brand new teeth, All right? So just trying to help you guys out. Uh, anyway, news to the channel. You know, Sherman's sitting over there. Sherman will be a year old in November. Uh, Sherman is going to be retired in um, November or before. I ordered another brand new machine. I ordered it Friday and I don't know exactly when it'll come in, but we'll see when it comes in, you know, I'll have an, another brand new machine. We've got 412 hours on Sherman. By the time the new machine is, I like to rotate by 600 hours. That's just me. You know, these machines take a pounding and things start to loosen up and stuff like that. So that's that's why I like to rotate, you know. And I'll resell the machine or I'll resell it. It'll bring me, you know, quite a bit more to where I won't have a very much involved in the next machine. So anyway, that's what's new. God bless you. Hopefully this little video or whatever. And please, I know somebody is going to say, well, who the hell would know that? It's a lot of new guys that didn't know any of this. Nobody taught me. Matter of fact, no one watched to teach you. All right? I'm here to help you out. God bless you. And, and really, if you want the supplier, I'll tell you the truth. If you want the supplier of teeth, send me an email. The email is always in the description of the channel. And, and I'll, I'll email you right back with the name of the supplier and all his name and stuff. It's a super guy. Uh, never met him. But he treats me like a, you know, like an old friend. Bam, bam. They're at my door. All right. Thanks.